we're also able to use um, rights and what we know about fractions to convert units, to change the units we're talking about. For example, if I know I have um, 18 cups of flour, and I want to know, well let's do 18 cups of milk, and I want to know how many gallons is that? Or if I'm making a recipe and the recipe ends up calling for 18 cups of milk because I'm duplicating it, and I want to know, okay, how many gallons is that because I need to know how many gallons of milk I need to buy. I can use a process um, that uses what are called conversion factors. So for example, I know that in one gallon there's going to be four quarts. And I know in one quart there's going to be two pints. And in one pint, there are two cups. So this will show the path that I'm going to use to get figure out how many gallons of milk I'm, I'll need for this recipe. So, if I'm given cups, I want to move up this ladder of sorts till I get the gallons. Okay. So what I'm going to do is, in order to get rid of cups, Using what I know about fractions, where would cups need to be? Well, it would need to be down in the denominator so I can cross off cups. But what do I know about cups? If I use this conversion here that says in one pint there are going to be two cups. Okay, so basically what I have here is what I have in the numerator should equal what I have in the denominator. This is basically one ratio in the sense that one pint is the same thing as two cups. They are equivalent. So what I'm doing is basically multiplying by a value of one because the numerator is equivalent to the denominator so this will be multiplying by a factor of one which means I've not actually changed how many cups of milk I'm talking about. I'm just changing how it's being measured. So in multiplying this, I have 18 cups, or 18 times 1, which is 18, and then I need to divide by the 2. So basically, I'm going to be left with 9 pints of milk. Okay. So then I start off with the 9 pints again, and using the same process, I need to multiply by something, a conversion factor, in which I put pints on the bottom, so the pints can cancel out. Well, if I go back to my conversion factors, I'm going to choose to use the value that 1 quart equals 2 pints. So in dividing this, I'm going to end up, or in multiplying this out, I have the 9 over 1. Okay, 9 times 1 is 9, divided by 2 is going to be 4.5 quarts or four and a half quarts. Okay. And then to go a step further then, if I start off with the 4.5 quarts, I'm going to choose to use our final conversion factor where it says one gallon is equal to four quarts. Well, I know I need to put the one gallon someplace and the four quarts someplace. I'm going to choose to put the quarts on the bottom so the quarts can the units for the quarts can cancel out. So I have four and a half quarts times it'll be one gallon over the four quarts because one gallon is equal to four quarts. So in dividing this I'm going to get basically 1.25 gallons of milk are going to be needed to give me 18 cups. I hope this has been helpful.